It is my pleasure to invite on stage Mr. Asif Peer, Sitare Imtiaz, CEO, Managing Director and Member of the Board of Systems Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, please give him a warm welcome on the stage. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, Minister Saab, uh, always pleasure to see you and meet all the Junaid, Usman and all the colleagues uh, here from IT industry, Jahara and Salim Gauri Saab. Thank you for being here. So I think uh, IT industry is a broad topic, but I would like to just highlight a few things uh, about Pakistan, right? That what is an opportunity for Pakistan in technology space? That's what we can remain focused uh, on today's uh, session. So, um, as you all know, I think you have heard from the Minister Saab many times and uh, my colleagues as well from the industry, it is a great potential for IT services export, IT exports, innovation. We have seen recent successes like uh, uh, companies raising money. Yesterday, it was a great uh, news all over the media uh, that uh, one of our uh, companies in Pakistan, the success stories that has been formed here, nurtured, and grow and they have sold uh, in $350 million. Look at that, the potential. It is a huge potential. I think we should give, uh, of course, acknowledgement to the team and the company. This is, and these are the success stories. I think Pakistan needs the success story. We all need to market from all, all the areas, from ministry to export, these type of successes people, because Pakistan is always, some, somehow we are in a negative, uh, perception and we really need to change the game. So uh, when we are talking about, uh, as, as we all, all know about, we always heard about COVID, after COVID, it's a great resignation era and so and so forth. I would like to change, I've, I've heard it from someone which I really like, which I really like to share. After COVID, it's a great rethink. It's not great resignation, it's a great rethink. We all need to rethink everything, the how, and what we do, the business today in today's world. So all of you, like if you are from IT industry or any industry, you have to really challenge yourself, rethink your place in the world, reimagine your organization, create upstream value. You have to think that how I can transform my products, how I can transform my services, why, and asking the why questions, that why we are not productive in so many areas, because we don't leverage technology, we don't digitally transform our products and services, we don't reimagine ourselves, we just keep doing on what we keep doing, right? We just heard about the blockchain. There are so many avenues that we all can do. In today's uh, our opportunity is immense. As I said, like, uh, we were discussing, uh, there are a few things that I would like, since Minister Saab is here, it's a huge opportunity for IT exports, but we need to make sure that this industry uh, needs a lot of uh, support from foreign exchange regulation perspective. Uh, because as you can hear that exports, you can create the jobs and you can create the exports, but, but in somehow we are constrained to grow because only thing that can happen to this industry if you can grow organic, organically or inorganically by going into your foreign markets, going into foreign mark markets, establishing requires foreign exchange, you acquire companies outside of Pakistan and that requires also foreign exchange, right? So by constraining this IT, or IT industry and not flex, uh, giving the flexibility to a lot of companies, is really straining our growth of this industry. If you really need the number, then these needs, uh, these things need to be changed. Again, I think in the IT ministry, or I would like to highlight here, we don't work on the data by itself. There is, if we really need to grow the exports and the talent and the HR pool, then we really need to nurture, we really need to go deep into looking at the data, what companies are doing, how we can mentor those companies to take that to the next le level. I was hearing from someone from freelancers that we have 200,000 kids doing freelancers. Where are those? Who are those? If they are 
producing $200 per person, just imagine if you convert only 10% of it, $20,000, and your yield will be about a billion dollar more. I'm not talking about 100%, I'm just taking a 10%. But you have to reskill and upskill. But how do I, you identify them? We don't have the data in this industry. I think this industry needs a lot of data analysis and you apply that data and then you act upon it, then it's the only way you can increase the exports because if you don't know what your current landscape is, how you can grow the exports. So exports is a huge opportunity. Organizations need to transform themselves. It's a huge opportunity for the space. And I think for young generation, this is, the, this is an industry where they can get a jobs left, right and center and get a job salary is better than any other industry right now because demand is huge. I can't explain that there is so much demand of the talent right now that even Pakistani companies can't fulfill. So we really need to work on nurturing our talent. It's not government's responsibility to be very honest. It's the industry responsibility along with the government to nurture and grow that HR that is available to us. And I think by nurturing and creating an inventory to, to the world, the business will come. I think we can find the areas, how to create the demand and so on and so forth. So opportunity is huge, sir. I think uh, uh, it requires, I think IT industry is requires the ease of doing business is important for them because companies like us can afford uh, the CFOs and all the designations we can have, but the IT industry, most of the IT industry, you can see the data, they are working in the basements or they're working in the small offices. They don't have the formal structures and they are very reluctant to bring the money back to Pakistan uh, because of that reason and that your export numbers are down. So I think we all need to, I think we all know what the problem is. I think uh, it's execution as I'm very optimist, very optimist person. We are growing, alhamdulillah, leaps and bounds. Uh, and we will keep growing, uh, but if industry grows, that's what is our responsibility as a responsible companies and a responsible citizens. We really need to create an impact in Pakistan ecosystem where we create more success stories, where people follow, people see what is happening. And I think if, if we change the industry and the ecosystem, that is our success. It's not like just keep growing by itself. That's what I treat my KPI as, a, as well that how we can create a positive impact uh, on a lot of people, lo inspire a lot of people if we can, and bring a lot of leaders out of this industry and grow this industry. So thank you very much uh, for the time, but uh, as a lot to say, but I, I know it's a limited uh, time we have. So uh, we are available to mentor, we are available to discuss anything which we can help young people. We are there, as I said, this is our core responsibility to keep growing this industry and contribute to it. Thank you very much. Thank you.